Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of biology, what is in the world of the body, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. That's 844-236-6010. 6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, 844 236 6010 is our number. And if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844 236 6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. That's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got blog posts, news stories. We've got videos and all the longevity products. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business or earn all, earn all the benefits associated with having your own business work out of your home. Make your own hours. Make as much or as little money as you like. Get your products at the wholesale price right off your home office. There's so many reasons why a one-time $25 fee. If you're an entrepreneur, if you want to be in business, there's so many reasons why a one-time $25 fee can be the best business investment you ever make. Plus, you're going to help a lot of folks. Still a lot of people that aren't hip to the idea that you can use nutritional supplements to improve your health. There's still a lot of people that don't realize they have options to prescription drugs, namely vitamins, minerals, trace nutrients. These are powerful options to prescription drugs, to the medical model in general. I know my health insurance went up ridiculous, a ridiculous amount this year. I never use my insurance, but every year it goes up. The best health insurance you could ever use is a good nutritional supplement program from a physical perspective is a good nutritional supplement program. Think of it as health insurance. It's $100 a month, $125 a month for the Healthy Start Pack. Anyway, you find out all about our truth skin, uh, about our longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And speaking of our truth skin health products, you can find out about those at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, free shipping for the month of December on our Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, the most powerful anti-aging ingredient containing the most powerful anti-aging ingredients you could ever use, vitamins A and vitamin C, especially if you're dealing with dark spots. Retinol is your go-to anti-aging, anti-dark spot, anti-wrinkle, active ingredient. You do need to have high concentrations, and that's why I created my Truth Retinol 5% Gel. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, silicone water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Treatment products, and they're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Thanks for joining us. We're talking fluoride, the element from hell. I love that, the element from hell. The element from hell that we enjoy in our water every day. How cool is that? How nice is that? We get to enjoy the element from hell, indulge in the, in the element from hell in our tap water every day. Why? Because this super highly reactive, deadly toxic substance, probably the most corrosive and destructive of all the elements on the periodic table. Why are we drinking it every day? Because it'll prevent cavities. The CDC says that this, that water fluoridation, that 
putting fluoride in the water is one of the greatest public health achievements of the century because we get to eat lots of processed food and lots of sugar and we don't have to get cavities. How cool is that? Fluoride is a toxic waste. It's best avoided, period. And the only way that fluoridation could ever be made acceptable to the general public is through tricky, sneaky public relations, marketing and advertising, authority marketing, where they get authorities to tell you how good it is, the American Dental Association, the CDC, the AMA, all of these authority organizations tell us it's good, so it's going to be good. It's got to be good for us. Fluoride production really got going. We've known fluoride was a, has been a problem for 150, almost 200 years, but it really became a problem after the Manhattan Project because fluoride was used in the nuclear, in the production of the atom bomb. It's used in, it's still used in the nuclear industry and generated in tremendously hundreds of thousands of ton quantities every year by the aluminum industry. The list of ways that fluoride is toxic to the biological system, to the body, it includes every system. You couldn't even come up with a list because everything that could possibly go wrong in the body can be going wrong because of fluoride. Fluoride can affect every single system in the body. It's toxic to all cells, which means it's going to have a destructive effect on every single system of the body, period. Nobody argues this fact. They'll tell you, well, the dose. We're trying to come up with the right dose. But you can't come up with the right dose because this fluoride is everywhere. Now, I know that there's no good pollutants. There's no good toxins. All toxins are going to affect everything in the body. So yes, it's true. Fluoride does, isn't singular in that way, but you could say lead and carbon monoxide and prescription drugs and pesticides and glyphosate. You know, you could say that all of these are problems and they are all problems. They're all big problems that nobody talks about. They're huge problems. But fluoride is the only thing that we actually put in our environment, in our food, in our water intentionally. This is crazy. Yes, there's lots of deadly toxins out there, but this is somehow given to us intentionally. Something we're told is healthy for us, that human beings have been conned into willingly ingesting this deadly toxin for the craziest of reasons. We willingly inge ingest this deadly toxin, this corrosive element, this horrible, this element from hell. We willingly ingest it, ingest it because it's good for our teeth. This is absurd. This is crazy. We have bought the pharmacological model of health so hook, line, and sinker that we can be, we think that we can be poisoned for our own good. We bought this model so completely. This con job has been so effective that we will willingly, willingly ingest this medication, willingly feed our babies and our children this medication, even if we're not sick, just to prevent cavities. So, fluoride, it's absurd, really, when you think about it. Fluoride affects everything, every single system in the body, but its effects on the brain and the nervous system are especially egregious. Yes, it affects the adrenal glands, it affects the bones, it'll affect your kidneys, it'll affect your livers, it'll affect your skin, but it, it, I don't want to say its, most, it's, most, its largest effect is on the brain, but its most dramatic effect is on the brain. That's where you're going to really see it. It's a dumbing agent. It affects the parts of our brains that are associated with the ability to think clearly. Now, I wasn't around in 1945, but it sure does seem that our ability as a human race to think clearly has not been increasing but diminishing. It affects our ability to learn new ideas. It affects our ability to remember. It affects short-term memory. It affects long-term memory. It may be a tool of population control for all we know. I don't know. I'm not saying yay or nay, but it certainly could be. It could be one of the sneaky ways that the human population is kept down, drinking industrial waste fluoride, which is undeniably and indisputably a deadly poison that cannot help but lead to increased disease and death. I don't know if that's the case or not, but what I can tell you, it can be used to keep people stupid. Yesterday we talked about Charles Elliot Perkins, this research scientist who went to Germany to take charge of the IG Farben plants, the IG Farben chemical plants. That's IG Farben made all the chemicals for the for the Nazis, IG Farben, it's a whole nother story, IG Farben. All right, we'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We'll be back after this.
right, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time. The straight scoop on nutrition, how easy and how simple health and nutrition can be, and it really is, it really is not difficult. I'm telling you this, I know I've been doing this for many years, so I just got to, I have a specific way of looking at this thing, and I don't expect everybody to automatically understand that health is easy because we're led to believe it's not. We're led to believe it's in our genes. It's genetic. It's too complicated for us. We need to go to a doctor. We need to go to an authority. We need somebody to tell us about our bodies. It's not true. I'm telling you, it's simple and it's easy. The good stuff in, the bad stuff out. It's as simple as that. The good stuff in, the bad stuff out. It is as simple as that. And the good stuff is not just nutrition and food, of course. The good stuff is good thoughts, good feelings, spirituality. Don't want to be all airy-fairy here, but the fact of the matter is is that we know the placebo effect is real. We know the nocebo effect is real. We talked to a gentleman, I forgot his name already, Richard Gordon, I think it was, uh, last Friday about the quantum nature of reality and how that can be applied to health and physical well-being. The fact of the matter is, is we've been led to believe that health is complicated. It is not. And I see how simple it is every single day because of ideas that we talk about on this program, other programs that you hear about, about nutrition, about how you can take care of your body, how you can take care of your body proactively by eating correctly, by moving correctly, by thinking correctly. 844-236-6010 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that I take and that I recommend, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or, or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. We're talking fluoride, one of the nastier ways we are poisoned, intentionally added to the water. It affects every part of the body, but especially affects the brain. Yesterday we talked about Charles Perkins who is a research scientist who went to take charge of the IG Farben chemical plants. IG Farben was making all kinds of toxic chemicals. They were one of the biggest companies in Germany, made all kinds of stuff, all kinds of nasty chemicals. Remember, it's the Germans who pioneered better living through chemistry. They were, uh, the Germans were responsible for the beginnings of chemistry, for the beginnings of organic chemistry. The first chem- organic chemical was invented by a guy named Wohlers in uh, Germany in the 1920s. All the big... Drug companies started in Germany. They were responsible for the growth of the pharmaceutical industry. There's a really cool book, by the way, called Blitzed that talks about the use of pharmaceuticals by German soldiers, by the German military, methamphetamine in particular. The, if you know anything about World War II, the Germans kind of marched right through Europe, cutting, like, cut through Europe like a hot knife, hot knife through butter in the 1930s and early 1940s. Interestingly, their advance through Europe kind of stopped right around 1942, actually 1940, 41, 42, right in there. It stopped, and a lot of people think, and and in this book Blitz, they talk about the fact that they ran out of methamphetamine. Actually, they stopped giving the soldiers methamphetamine. So a lot of researchers, and this is described in the book Blitz, think that the reason for the great success of the Nazi army in the 1930s and 1940s had to do with speed. They were speed freaks. They would march. That's what the blitz was. It was the end result of a bunch of soldiers on speed. Now, you know, just think of the prototypical junkie out there, and that's what the soldiers were like. Hitler was a junkie. Hitler was given a a large amounts of drugs. In fairness, they didn't really know about the toxicity of these things. They just saw you could inject yourself with speed or take a, a methamphetamine pill, and you would stay up for three straight days, and you wouldn't need to eat. That seemed like a good thing back then, until all of a sudden, they ran out of speed where they stopped giving them speed, and it wasn't so good. <laughs> so Hitler was given large amounts of drugs. He was given vitamins, too. He, was given new, he had a personal doctor who was really into chemistry, and he was being injected with all kinds of things. And if you look at film clips of Hitler at, towards the end of his life, towards the end of the war in the ni- 1944, 1945, you could see that his hand was dramatically shaking. He would keep his hand behind his back, and you could see if he had the right camera angle, that his hand was shaking. It was like he had Parkinson's disease. 
So anyway, what, what uh, Charles Perkins, this researcher who went to Germany to take care of the IG Farben plants, what he discovered was that the purpose behind water fluoridation, because Farben was producing these things, IG Farben was producing these kinds of, of chemicals, uh, according to Perkins, he said that water fluoridation, the, the reason that uh, the Germans were fluoridating water of, their, uh, of the masses of the countries that they were taking over was to keep them under control. He found, Perkins found, that even the tiniest amounts of fluoride, when it was ingested chronically, could reduce the individual's power to resist authority. He wrote a letter to the, uh, uh, the Lee Foundation for Nutritional Research. He wrote, quote, this plan was to control the population in any given area through mass medication of drinking water supplies. By this method, they could control the population of whole areas, reduce population by water medication that would produce sterility in women. Yes, fluoride does that. And so on. In this scheme of mass control, sodium fluoride occupied a prominent place. And then he continues in his letter. This is really interesting and not very nice. Quote, Repeated doses of infinitesimal amounts of fluoride will in time reduce an individual's power to resist domination by slowly poisoning and narcotizing a certain area of the brain, thus making him submissive to the will of those who wish to govern him. A convenient and cost-effective lobotomy. Unquote. We're all being lo lobotomized. Now, this is this Charles Perkins' opinion. I understand this. But the fact of the matter is, is fluoride affects the brain. We've talked about fluoride's effects on the bone and the teeth, the hard tissues of the body. It sticks to calcium. It makes teeth more resistant to cavities and to the acid that's produced by, by uh, bacteria. Yes, we've talked about that. But it's the brain where fluoride has its nastiest effects, and especially on children, especially on kids. And one has to wonder, at least think about, maybe... The spike in autism and childhood depression and childhood suicide even and ADD, ADHD aren't at least a little bit the result of fluoridation of the brain. And keep in mind, we're not just getting fluoride in the water. It's in the food. It's in medication. It's in gases that are emitted as pollutants. It's in the pesticides that we spray on our strawberries and our lettuce and our grapes. Can you imagine how much fluoride we're getting? Now, they tell us that seven parts per million is pretty much the max that you want to get, or eight parts, somewhere between seven and one part per million. And so they'll put a couple parts per million in the water, but where else is it coming from? We have no idea how much we're getting. We have no idea how much it's accumulating. We do know it's toxic. We, especially, we know it's especially toxic for the brain. According to the Journal of Brain Research, chronic exposure to fluoride, and we're all getting chronic exposure, exposure to fluoride, Chronic exposure to fluoride in drinking water of rats compromises neuronal, specifically the hippocampus, which is the learning part of your brain, and cerebrovascular integrity, that is the blood flow to the brain, the blood flow, the blood brain barrier. And it also, according to the journal Brain Research, inc uh, increases aluminum concentration in the brain. We've all heard, a lot of us have heard about the relationship between aluminum toxicity and dementias. Well, guess what? Fluoride increases aluminum concentration in the brain. Don't drink this stuff. We'll continue talking about fluoride's effects on the brain, and especially on a very mysterious and interesting part of the brain as we continue discussing fluoride toxicity and what you can do about it on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. We'll take a commercial break and come back right after this. Don't go away. Back on the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you, and we will get your calls here in just a moment. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, we have uh, free shipping for the month of December on our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, the best age spot removing product you'll ever use, and nowhere near the toxicity profile associated with prescription skin lighteners, and way more effective than hydroquinone. I used to have to make high doses of hydroquinone in my compounding pharmacy. I would put it under the hood, and I'd wear a mask because I didn't want to breathe this stuff. Retinol is not only more powerful as a skin lightener, as an anti-aging product, anti-age spot product, than hydroquinone, the gold standard of prescription medicine age spot removers, but 
it's also nutritional. It will also help you with your wrinkles. It'll also help you with your fine lines. It'll also help thicken your skin and help you make more moisture factors. It's just all around an awesome, awesome skin health ingredient. You need high concentrations to get the real good benefits of it. Don't be bamboozled by just the word on the ingredient deck. You really need at least two or three percent. I put five percent in my truth retinol. 5% gel. We're going to come out with a light version. It'll have 1% or 2%, I'm thinking probably 1%, uh, 1% retinol. That'll be out here in a few months. I also have a cleansers and toners coming out as well. All our True Skin Health products for now are up at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Okay. 844-236-6010 is our number, and uh, we'll get your calls here in just a sec. From the Journal Neuropsychologica, short-term exercise equals big-time brain boost. A 10-minute, one-time burst of exercise can measurably boost your brain power, according to researchers at Western University in London, Canada, published just yesterday in the journal Neuropsychologica. Short-term exercise means a burst. The body loves bursts of exercise. It doesn't like long-term, drip, 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 marathon exercise. It likes quick bursts of it. Especially the brain, you get increases in blood flow to the brain, increases in antioxidant nutrients to the brain, improvements in detoxification of the brain. We're talking, though, intense exercise, a burst. That means getting on an exercise bike and pedaling. You want to be feeling, you know you're doing a good, you know you have enough, you're exercising long enough or for a long enough period when your body's screaming at you to get off that exercise bike. Just go past it. It's one of the best things you can do for your brain. Yesterday we talked about an article where, that, uh, where they said there's nothing you could do to prevent n dementia. or There's very little they could do to, d to prevent dementia. Well, I'm telling you one major thing you can do. There's lots you could do. But one major thing you could do is get on an exercise bike for 10 minutes, three times a week. For, and don't even worry about the exercise bike. Just go up and down the stairs. Go up and down five flights of stairs uh, three times a week. Up and down five flights of stairs three times a week. And if you could, can go up a little bit quickly, that's even better. That's all you need to do. Doesn't take much. Don't forget to stretch before and after. Weekly fish consumption linked to better sleep and higher IQ. That's according to a study that was published in Scientific Reports. Children who eat fish at least one, uh, once a week sleep better and have IQ scores that are four points higher on average than those who consume fish less frequently or not at all, according to findings from the University of Pennsylvania published in Scientific Reports, a nature journal. Fish, of course, contains lots of brain, brain, food, uh, brain nutrients, Omega-3 fatty acids are in fish. Phospholipids are in fish. Very important for the brain and for the nervous system. We get some vitamin E, a little bit of vitamin E in fish. Also very important for the brain and the nervous system. Fish is, a, fish is an amazing food. It's packed with nutrition. Very little load on the body relatively for a high-protein food. Protein also is very important for the brain, by the way. Of course, the problem with fish is toxicity of the oceans, and that's just something we got to deal with. we got to live with, you know? What are you going to do? We've created a toxic planet. That's just the facts. You know, fluoride is intentionally added to the water, but there's all kinds of toxins that are in the water. I remember when I was a kid growing up in New York City, it would be a big old barge loaded with New York City's garbage. It would go out into the ocean twice a day and come back empty. Yes, it would dump all the crap from New York City into the middle of the ocean, not the middle of the ocean, but offshore, twice a day. This is, this is human beings are the only species in the world, only species that would ever crap in their water and then drink it. That's the human race, smart as we are. All right, one more, one more, and then we'll get your calls. Eight four four two three six sixty ten. This is um, this is really interesting, actually. Uh, an infant microbiome may influence type 1 diabetes developments from Medscape. Type 1 diabetes is now thought to be related to the microbiome. Surprise, surprise. Where have you heard that before? Now, I remember going on a radio program. I was on Coast to Coast maybe a year ago, and I talked about how type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes have the same cause. They're both related to the gut, as everything else is. And somebody had to write me a note, a nasty note, scolding me, saying I should know better. I shouldn't say stuff like that because type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. Everybody knows that. And type 2 diabetes is long-term insulin resistance. Yes, I understand that. But if you have an autoimmune disease, you've got a gut problem. And if you have type 2 diabetes, well, you've got a gut problem. It all relates to the gut. It all relates, not just specifically the gut. The gut, when we say gut, we mean intestine. 
It's not just the intestine, it's the microbiome. It's the bacteria in the intestine, and I know I don't let a show go by without talking about the microbiome, and I probably won't let a show go by without talking about the microbiome because it's the key. It's the root of all disease and all health. A good, healthy microbiome, which means get on your nightly essence, which means don't eat foods that destroy the microbiome, including antibiotic-laden foods, including fluoride, including sugar, which throws off the microbiome. And make sure you're eating fermented foods. And make sure you're using lots of fiber. And make sure you're using apple cider vinegar. And make sure you're doing everything you could do, nitrogen, uh, nitrates from, ve from uh, vegetables, everything you could do to support the microbiome, no matter what your health challenge is, and you'll notice you're getting better, especially skin problems, by the way. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones, and we're going to give my buddy, the Truth Raider, the first call. What's going on, Truth, Truth Raider? Jingle bells! How you doing, man? <laughs> Stay warm here and what do you got with my friends Pepperino and Pokey. <laughs> Good deal. And Rubberina. Don't forget Rubberina. Yeah, that, that's, 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 that's Pokey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Pokey. I like that. Okay, good. She's my so, sweet doll. <laughs> what's anyway, going on? What's going on? Hey, I had a, I had an idea. I had a brainstorm. Yes, sir. And uh, what, what I, I figured, I tried using this. I don't know if you recommend this or not, but you may not like this, but yes, there is an, or, I don't know if they call it organic, but it's, it's a Gatorade that has electrolytes in it. What's the name of the product? That, um, it's you know it's it's what's what, is, what was the original name for it? It was, it was Stokely's. It was originally called back in the Stokely's? 1960s. Okay. Stokely's. S T O K L E Y. Yeah, and it it okay. turned into the Gatorade Corporation. Okay. All right. So Stokely's Massive Gatorade, where they have Chewies and bars, and candy bars, and drinks. All right. Let's be clear here. Gatorade is not good stuff. It is no. not healthy for anybody. And Gatorade Chewies aren't. And Gatorade can. I know what you're talking about. I've seen it. None yeah. of that is good stuff. It's a brand is what it Ew is. <laughs> yeah, they, they just managed to brand it. The best right. way to get your electrolytes is vegetable juices and your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Vegetable juices are, are so unbelievably valuable from a health perspective. The fiber, right. the nitrogen, the electrolytes, the, the trace nutrients, the phytonutrients, are just unbelievably valuable. But that's how you want to get your electrolytes. If you can't do you know, fresh veggie juice, use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I got a commercial break, Truth Raider. Appreciate yeah. your call. Happy holidays, my friend. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll take a commercial break and come back with more phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. We'll be back right after this. On the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you, 844-236-6010. Let us go back to John in Kansas from yesterday, talking about uh, some skin issues. Hey, John. Hey, Ben. What's going on, man? You got some, I remember you had some skin problems, but just remind me and, and our listeners. Well, we, had, we started with a, a small quarter-sized rash and... Uh, it went to um, um, painful blisters, uh, watery blisters. Where was and the on, rash? Where? Uh, front, uh, chest, uh, okay, just got above, it. The, uh, above the uh, waist. Is this for you? Right side. Is this for you? A uh, friend of ours that comes to us for, for uh, oh, okay. help. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, and that, now there's no way this is the only health challenge this guy has. I remember you got to collect right. you got to collect the dots before you can connect the dots. So we want to get a picture of what's happening in his body. We got one dot. We need a few more. What else is going on? What kind of medicine medicine is he on, for example? <clears throat> what kind of health uh, challenges he has? First it's a woman and second it's uh in an area where there was uh, um kidney stone surgery about 10 years ago. So um, it, other than that, uh, they're okay. Following ketogenics, they're doing okay. Uh, well, kidney stones are a sign that the metabolism is off, that the chemistry is off. Right. Okay, kidney stones. All stones are congestion in the blood. All stone formation, whether the stones are in the kidneys, whether the stones are in the gallbladder, whether the stones are in the tear ducts. You can have stones anywhere, and stones are a sign that the blood is becoming saturated. It's a sign of dirty blood. So, uh, dirty blood itself. Can, can cause all kinds of health challenges, including skin reactions. So you got to figure out why is the blood dirty. 
and what else is going on. It, it'd be nice to have other things, other, other symptoms. I, I highly, highly doubt that she has only kidney stones. And then all of a sudden she woke up one day and she, and she was perfectly fine. And all of a sudden she had these blisters, these, this rash and then blisters. So it, that's not in the name of attacking anybody or being mean to anybody. But you got to figure out what's going on in the system. And the way you can, only way you can do that is to collect a bunch of symptoms. So you really want to find a bunch of symptoms. That being said, there's, uh, no matter what your health challenge is, there's, only, there's always the same basic things you got to address. Number one, the digestive system. Number two, the blood sugar system. And number three, the adrenal thyroid complex, i.e. the triangle of disease. So what you want to do is ideally... When you have an immune, that's a, an immune reaction on the skin. That means a, a defensive reaction on the skin. Ideally, you want to figure out what does she do before she, a day, two days, three days, or even what is she doing regularly that's uh, causing her, her immune system to react. And that usually means something that she's eating. Okay? That's always the first step. What am I eating? Always the first step. Is that the only thing that goes wrong in the body? No. But it's always going to be involved, something you're eating, because it's the first point. <clears throat> excuse me. It's the first point on the triangle of disease. Food diary, uh, uh, swear of a cleanse. Start off with a swear of a cleanse. Food diary, elimination diet. Now, you want to be very clear here with your patient, and also I'm just for yourself as well, John. I'm not here to tell you how to get rid of blisters on the skin. That's not my job. There's other radio programs that will tell you, take this vitamin, take that vitamin, you know, do this, right. do that, and you get rid of the, this thing on your skin. I'm here to tell you how to get the body better. This is what makes this program different from almost every health program there is where you take phone calls and you give advice. My job is to make the body better or, or help you make the body better, just to give you the sure. information that makes your body stronger. There's all kinds of people selling you this formula and that formula and this nutritional supplement and that nutritional supplement. I don't, that's not how I operate. We're going to make her better, stronger. Her body will respond in a way that her blister will go away naturally, and she's going to live a longer life, and it's going to reduce her, her likelihood of other diseases down the road. So swear of cleanse and then food diary and elimination diet. That's always your first step, Okay. Second step, keep, uh, keep and, and then once she does that, you want to also have her supporting digestive health with the nightly essence. Very important relationship between good bacteria and the skin. Also, all the things we talked about just a moment ago with uh, supporting the microbiome, fiber, uh, vegetable juices, nitrates, fermented foods, apple cider vinegar with your meals, the ultimate enzymes with your meals, etc. Focus on the gut, on the microbiome specifically. Then the second step is keep the blood sugar stable. There's a major relationship between kidney disease and kidney problems and, and, and um, uh, uh, elevated blood sugar and elevated insulin. It can also cause skin problems. So using your sweeties or have her using sweeties, have her using the ultimate selenium, have her using the ultimate niacin. Of course, the healthy start pack, that goes without saying. You always want to start, make sure people are using the healthy start pack. I'm not saying do every single thing here, but these are all ideas for you or for her. And then, okay. the, third, and then the third step is calm the body down. That means deep breathing techniques, relaxation techniques, eliminating or, or, uh, or balancing out cortisol by eliminating sugar, by using prednis, uh, pre, uh, pre, pregnenolone, not prednisone, but pregnenolone, DHEA, vitamin A and vitamin E, progesterone cream. All of these are strategies for calming the adrenal glands down. Now, again, I'm not here to target the, bl the blisters or the skin, but those will resolve themselves as the body becomes stronger. And everything I just gave you, all the information I just gave you is going to do just that. It's going to make her body stronger. It's going to make her healthier. It's going to make her more able to be resistant against the uh, inevitable vicis vicissitudes, ups and downs of life. And that's how, that's, how you, that's how you get healthy no matter what your health challenge is. All right, John? There one, yeah. There was one other uh, um, condition that, that recurred or occurred about 10 years ago that may be coming back up, and that's shingles. Exactly. Her immune system is suppressed. This is a, a woman okay. whose biochemistry is weak. We're stre we just strengthened her biochemistry with the last two or three minutes of protocol. That's what your goal is. There's all kinds of ways this can, t this can deteriorate. This can deteriorate into Alzheimer's. It can deteriorate to cancer. It can det deteriorate into autoimmune disease. It can get deteriorate into multiple ways. What you just, if you follow the protocol I just gave you, not only will you take care of her skin, but you're going to prevent the deterioration of her body into... A ugly, awful, hideous things that can happen to the body as it breaks down. I want to get a couple more calls in, John. God bless you. Happy holidays, my friend. Thanks for your call. Appreciate Thanks. it. Hope we helped you out. All right, let's go uh, to Jessica in Texas. Good morning, Jessica. How you doing? Oh, hey. Doing great, Ben, um, except for the fact that I'm on um, a 10-day round of sulfa drugs for okay. uh, cellulitis in my right hand ring I'm finger. sorry. 
Okay, that's, uh, that's it's dry. It's not too bad, but I am wondering about timing of taking probiotics while you're taking antibiotics. You don't want to take and them at also, the same. You don't want to take them at the also, same time. You want. Let me just fit, right. finish this. I'll get your second question. Okay. Definitely not at the same time. You want to take maybe your, let your antibiotics get out of your system maybe four hours or so, and then do your probiotics four or five hours. And then when you're done with the probiotics, make sure you're pa- or the antibiotics. Make sure you're, you're pounding the the, the probiotics. Go by your stools. You'll notice you have a little diarrhea. When the antibiotics kick in, you'll notice you have some loose stools and diarrhea. When that corrects itself, uh, you'll know you're on the right track. Okay, great. And I just want to say that I listen very intently to everything you just said in the uh, former call because, of course, that relates to me uh, yes. being as a cellulitis. Yes. So thank you very much. Oh, thank you. God bless you. Happy holidays. And uh, we'll talk again, hopefully. Thanks, Jessica. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, let's go to Chris in Florida. What is going on, Chris? Good morning. Well, Ben, what's going in our water is not more than fluoride. It's uh, also heavy metals and radioactive oh, yeah. hopes. And, oh, yeah. You know, I bring this up to the county commission here in Pinellas County, and luckily we're able to end water fluoridation in 2011. But then, Oh, uh, nice. We just, yeah, it was a nice reprieve for a year and a half almost. But uh, then we got two new commissioners and voted it back in, in 2013. So it's still Are you up. serious? Against the will of the people? Uh, over the overwhelming majority, the uh, super majority that showed up that day. And then Isn't that voted. terrible? Isn't that terrible? Uh, Florida, by the way, is one of the most toxic of all the states, and the wa- water in Florida is absolutely, absolutely hideous. Fertilizer plants and phosphates, and uh, exactly. Florida is Florida is a poster yeah. child for how how we've mucked up our environment in the name of economics and finance and and money. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, we have radioactive sinkholes from Mosaic Phosphate Mining Company, Ah. which is from where we used to get the industrial waste that includes the fluoride ion. That's what they measure when they add it. But it's, uh, you know, when you look at the annual water quality analysis, it's called the uh, Annual Consumer Confidence Report on Water Quality. It says for fluoride, likely source of contamination, not likely source of nutrient because it's not a nutrient on the ADA, but uh, likely source of contamination is aluminum uh, discharge from aluminum and fertilizer factories. So it's definitely a waste. And, uh, yeah, you know, we have Mosaic Phosphate Mining Company dumping um, in their, you know, they had a sinkhole in Mulberry last year. They didn't tell the public for two months. Great. Uh, But you don't have any cavities you i'll bet everybody has really nice beautiful teeth out there in florida right uh, well you can't have cavities when you don't have teeth <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks chris that's but the I, last I word what you thought about ionized water if you had any opinion I, I, on you know what i'm going to talk about ionized water next week and we're just out of time but thank you so much for bringing that to our attention appreciate it and thanks for listening to the bright side happy holidays merry christmas and all all that kind of thank stuff thank you chris okay All right, that's all the time we have for today. We will definitely be talking about ionized water, distilled water, uh, all kinds of ways that you can really, the good good stuff, you know, after we talk about some really interesting things about fluoride in the brain next week. On the Bright Side, thanks for listening, friends. Have yourselves a beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben, and uh, that's it. Check out our true treatment products at truthtreatments.com and our longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team. Love to have you on board for a one-time $25 fee. Take care folks. We will talk to y'all later. Bye for now.